Today, Chad and I are super excited to check out and test drive uh, this badass 1979 Trans Am Resto Mod. Four wheel wood, wood disc brakes, built motor, air conditioning, super cocky look. Um, one of the first things I love about it is what they did with the door handles. We'll get to everything else, but. Yeah, it's just so slick and smooth. You know, the, the original ones were just troublesome. I mean, too bad they didn't do that back in the day, you know? They did a great job on this. This was a, a basically a rotisserie restored car. Drivetrain is all brand new on it as well. Built 400, um, roller rockers. I mean, this thing just hauls the mail. Sounds excellent. I think we have two sets of T-tops for this thing too. We do. Yeah, the other set's in the trunk. Um, factory black car, black interior, T-tops, and the paint is absolutely gorgeous on it. If you look up and down the sides, across the hood, even at the nose with all the chrome, it just, it just pops, doesn't it? Yeah, I love what they did with it too. Uh, you know, being the rest of them out, they added that iconic 77 front nose, front bumper. Exactly. I mean, they were building it the way they wanted it. I'm glad they did it. It just sets it apart. Look at all your front uh, suspensions, all that got the tubular A-arms. That stuff's all new. Uh, motor's all been gone through. Headers, power steering, vintage air. The air works great. New battery. Uh, everywhere you look, it's brand new parts on this one. According to the previous owner, it's got about 300 miles on the uh, drivetrain and uh, it runs awesome. That's so everything's fresh. It's like you just did it yourself without the hassle of finding the shop and doing it yourself. Oh, yeah, and you can see the finished look. You know, that's the big thing. Yeah, the stance and these wheels too, they sell these, they're, you know, a, a custom wheel made to look like the stock, you know, uh, wow. snowflake wheels, but they're a little bit bigger, you know, a little more cut out. They look fantastic. They put BFGs on it too, I mean. There was nothing done cheaply on this Trans Am that I can see. For black card, straight as hell. Two ninety-five, thirty-five, 18s. This is definitely a head turner. As we look in the door jam, all new rubbers, felts, corner of the door's perfect. Door panel's been replaced. Door jam paint is just awesome on it as well. There's no seam here. Seats are comfortable. It's got a nice four-speed Hurst shifter, tilt wheel. Again, Dalton mentioned it comes with both sets of T-tops. Back seat's excellent. Carpet's all new. Door panels are great front and rear. What's not to love, huh? I love the rear ends of the 79s too. Love the rear tail lights, back bumper. Man, that's gorgeous. And black shows everything. The body is laser straight. You can see reflection anywhere in it. Fortunately, we've had it out here for about 45 minutes and it's kind of breezy. So we've got a little light coat of dust already. We seem to get going fast enough and all the dust will fly off. I think that'll happen. If we look right, right here under that little piece, there's just a couple little tiny paint imperfections like right there. Other than that, the paint is just so gorgeous. I notice there's a couple rock chips right down here on the top of the rocker panel that need to be touched up. No bubbles, blisters anywhere. I mean, gorgeous paint, all wet sanded and buffed beautifully. Top of the hood lines up great. This thing just has such a fantastic look. I just love it with the gold birds. But uh, I think the wheel and tire combination and stance is, is what kind of drives it home for me. Yeah, I agree. And at first I didn't know, when I seen these door handles, I was like, what the hell? And they're probably one of my favorite parts about this car. Well, it's just like a slight modification that kind of makes it unique and makes it kind of stand out, lets people know what you got. Exactly, and you know what? That's something, I'm, I'm sure that's not easy to do. No. And the, no. the way they did it too is like the first three times I never even noticed it. 
it's nice. Uh, door panel's in great shape. Again, window felts, rubbers are all new. Uh, seats are in great shape. I don't see any wear going in and out of the seats. Seat backs are good. Um, let's take this thing for a ride, D. I got new visors. I just need the visor arms. I got some. I ordered some, but they're the wrong ones, just so you know. Good. So those we will take care of for you. Yeah. It does yeah. have tilt wheel. Power windows, too. Right down here. Yep. Actually, it works good. If I can get the camera over there fast enough. They're so fast, I can't even get the camera on them yet before they're rolled up. Let's go ahead and take them up, and we'll get the air going, shall we? Sounds good to me. We'll keep it kind of, keep it light so it's not loud. But that's what's nice. A lot of people are going to say, hey, you know, is the air work? Yeah, the air works great. Tack works, gas gauge works. Got great oil pressure. Goes up to about 75, 80 pounds revved up. Tack works, gas gauge works. The only thing I'm seeing right now that's not working is the wipers. The shaker hood is sweet too. That air blows, don't it? It blows nice and cold. That's what's nice about the vintage air rather than the factory air. This works a lot better. Yeah. The, the radio, there we go. I didn't know how to turn it on. That's kind of the radio. That works. Looks like it's got Bluetooth and all that good stuff. It's a nice one. Yeah, so that works. Yep. All right. Shifter is super tight. Uh, Willwood four wheel disc brakes. Brakes work great. There we go. Nice. 4,000 RPM shifts. Probably at 80 miles an hour right there. Yeah, at least. Um, speedometer's not working. It needs to be calibrated or something with the speedometer. But other than that, everything is working great. Great oil pressure. Wipers work too. They're just kind of below the hood right now. But wipers work. Yep. They need to be adjusted up just a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Great car. Ice cold air. Badass look. Great yeah. sound. Good power. Air conditioning. Shit. What doesn't it have? It drives great down the road, 3,000 RPM. Yeah. The four-wheel Willwoods are fantastic. You can't get any better brakes than them. Yeah, what a car. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Link's down in the comment section of the video if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, but uh, appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.